In this video you will learn how to set up a retrieval augmented generation stack on top of your own Kubernetes cluster. We're going to use Verba as the retrieval augmented generation application and Verba requires a vector database and we're using Reviate for that. It also requires a large language model which we're using Mistral 7b for and it requires an embedding server and we're using the simple mini LM embedding model. Um, Lingo is used as the ML proxy and autoscaler for both the embedding servers and the large language model. The first part is creating a Kubernetes cluster. I have a script here for GKE, but all these steps should work also on other Kubernetes distros. Um, first, we're going to install the Helm repos that are required for running. Um, then we're going to create the Mistral 7b uh, deployment spec, which we have on here. We basically just provide the model name. Um, we run on one L4 GPU, and then we can simply deploy this um, to get it up and running. Let's do that. I already have the hugging face token correctly in my environment variable. And then it should start a pod for Mistral 7b, which triggers a skill up. This is going to take a while, so let's continue with the next step, which is to deploy the embedding model server. This one is going to run on CPU only, so it'll be faster. Um, Stapi is an open source project. It uh, provides a OpenAI compatible endpoint on top of the mini LM model. So it's just so that it works very well with existing vector databases. So you don't, you just point it to the Lingo endpoint. Whenever we send a request to the Lingo API endpoint for the, for the text embedding ADA model, it will actually be using the mini LM sentence transform model under the hood. Um, and we can deploy that. And once we deploy it, it should scale up directly to one replica. And we can see that it's already directly running because we already had a pod running. We can deploy Lingo, which you could do like this. I have already deployed it in my cluster, so I'm gonna skip it. Um, we can quickly test that the embedding model server is working as expected. Uh, after I do a port for it, of course. And then we see it returns the embeddings for the prompt that I sent it to. And as you, as you can see, this is standard OpenAI compatible API format. We're going to deploy Reviat, the vector database as part of the end-to-end -end rec solution, also still within the same cluster. So now we have the embedding model server, we have the large language model, which is still loading, and Reviat is initializing itself. We're going to deploy Verba with the following settings so that it points to our Lingo endpoint, which is the model proxy. In this case, the Lingo endpoint within the Kubernetes cluster is exposed as a service, so we can point to it. And Verba is within the same cluster, so within the cluster we can re revert to the long Lingo endpoint using this URL. And then for so we say the OpenAI base URL is this for both embedding and for the large language model. And then we point into the local Reviat cluster as well, and we say which model it should be using as a large language model here which is our Mistral 7b model that we've deployed. So that's pretty much it. And then we deploy Verba. And we wait for that to come up. And we see that the large language model is already up. Okay, now that everything is deployed, we have Verba ready, we can start trying it out. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a port forward to the Verba service in our Kubernetes cluster so we can easily access it from our web browser without having to expose it to the internet. There we go. 
let's try it out see if Verba is ready and it is ready now all we need to do is we need to upload a PDF document or a text document and then we can start asking questions about that document for example let's upload a PDF here and then in that PDF is the following content it's about a study protocol about a smart faucet let's see if we can ask some questions about it um, go back to the main where we can do search and let's ask it um, how did they test the faucet the LM without the context of would not have known about this and we see it is able to get the data um, from the PDF and it is able to the LOM is helping provide a answer to this question with the context provided from this PDF and that's it I hope this was useful uh, we showed how to do an end-to-end -end, uh, use case of deploying REC fully on your own Kubernetes cluster without having any third-party dependencies